Good evening students. Welcome back to our channel Exact CT. So today we had OET exam. So here comes the complete review of today's OET exam 31st August 2024. So we will go in detail for each and every skills. First about the reading module. Part A. The first set of part A was about ulcer. In that paragraph A including the definition and stages, paragraph B about the prevention, paragraph C management and paragraph D about the types of dressing and materials used for dressing. And in that the C1 and C2 include the questions related to antibiotics and risk factors. The major type of questions were opinion type question and inference type of question. So we already done video for that. Try to cross check. And the second set, the part A was about cyclic vomiting in children. In that, the paragraph arranged like paragraph A with the description and phases, paragraph B diagnosis and criteria for diagnosis, paragraph C treatment and recovery, and paragraph D medical management. Coming towards the C1 and C2, it's about the food allergy and technology and medicines. Major type of question category was lexical references and inference based question. In third set, part A was about cystic fibrosis, paragraph A including definition and signs, paragraph B investigations, paragraph C medication and frequency, paragraph D about chest percussion, it was a treatment method. So that's about the third set. In that, the C1 and C2 about the itching and stroke. So that's related to the three different set in reading module. Now about the second module, writing. Set 1. The letter to family GP, medical history including hypertension, diabetics and Alzheimer's disease, ongoing medicines, metformin and isoprin, family history mother and father died because of cancer and he is living with a daughter and she is divorced and having two kids. Now the daughter got a job overseas and planned to move so the patient is shifting to home care. The patient first visited by 10 September 2023. That time the patient is in good appetite and can do the self care. Then they given this concurrent visit till 5th January 2024. Now the patient have good mood swings and the symptoms of Alzheimer's. Now we need to maintain proper nutrition and the patient is complaining about intermittent insomnia. So we need to take care about the physical conditions and maintain proper exercise and the care of insomnia. So we need to refer the patient to speech therapist and also educate regarding the further care. Now, about the second set, letter to patient GP, non-case, patient name is Tommy Grivins, patient is diagnosed with type 1 diabetics, patient is admitted on 1st January 2024 and they just given today's date like 6th January, complaint during the arrival, blurred vision, nausea and increased appetite, so ketosis is positive and infusion and IV fluids given, vitals are stable and the, we given the instruction related to insulin. Now, during the patient discharge, we need to mentioned related to the follow-up care and about the dietary instructions and other care. Now about the set 3 letter to occupational therapist, unknown case, patient is a university student, complained of ganglion cyst, removed and has pain and also having difficulty to write due to the pain. So we need to recommend to occupational therapist. Now coming towards the next module speaking. So the first cue card setting is hospital emergency, patient 35 year old with bike accident and severe pain, need to collect the history related to the incident and the first aid and also ask about the medical history and about the previous injury to the shoulder and we want to take the vitals and ask him to wait for the doctor. Second play card setting is outpatient clinic, 5 day old baby, so the child is not physically present. So mother suspect jaundice so we need to check out the report related to bilirubin level and to give health education related to the importance of breastfeeding, food, maintain the hydration and immunity and also to improve the bond between mother and child. So we need to give all the reassurance to the mother. Third role play card setting is outpatient clinic, preoperative assessment, nasal polypectomy and we need to explain about the procedure and the aftercare. Now about the fourth set, the setting is hospital ward, need to provide macular injection, patient is concerned after injection, we need to give reassurance to the patient and the patient have itching, so we need to give the proper uh, education related to avoid the scratching and avoid swimming and also other care. Now about the listening module, the first set was a talk with the gastroenterologist and also talk with the cardiologist. Second set including talk with the rheumatologist and talk with the neurologist. And about the third set, 
talk with the physiotherapist and also the talk with the neurologist so that's about the different set of question for all the skills so i hope you all attended well and to just convey your experience all the very best for your results god bless you all thank you